I think a really good way to kick off this call is there's probably a lot of people that don't know your background or who you are. They just think it's like, oh, he's probably just this dude that started high levels of software and like doesn't know anything about the agency world. I think it'd be awesome if you gave like a little bit of your background. Oh, yeah. I don't really know anything about the agency world. I mean, I, I mean, not directly. No, uh, on, let's see. So yeah, so I'm a software engineer by trade, actually. So prior to high level, I had a SaaS company called Invoice Sherpa. And I would, uh, it was, it would remind people to pay past due invoices. And I, I grew that off my kitchen table to about a thousand small businesses, many of which actually turned out to be agencies at the end of the day, but a, a lot of plumbers, a lot of lawyers, a lot of all kinds of people. And, uh, and so that was actually what inspired me to create high level because a lot of those people, you know, I sort of solved this one problem really well for them and they loved it. And then I started, I just kind of how I do, I just like, well, what else can I do for you? How else can I help? And they said, you know, I really want to get more customers. And that was kind of the genesis for high level 1.0. Yeah. And that was what, like four years ago? I think five or six now, but yeah. Time flies. Can't even remember. Time flies. Yeah. So I really want to talk about AI and high level, but before we do that, what are some of the big updates that we have coming up for high level in Q1 and Q2? Well, AI is coming in Q1. So that's pretty exciting. Exciting to talk about. Uh, Tell us about we that. We can go right there if you want to. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. So this probably sounds boring to some people, but um, I sort of think about us like us, like Costco. You know, we we kind of <laughs> we look at our customers and we sort of ask the question, like, you know, what do our customers already use, right? And historically, if I think back on things that we try to guess on, like, huh, I wonder if we make this if people will use it. Those have almost always failed. But you know where we've done really well is if we just sort of stick to that original mission of like, well, what do our customers already use and how can we integrate that into the platform? We always do really, really well. So on the AI side, initially, again, you know, it, when, it, when uh, GPT-3 came out, as cool as it was from a tech perspective, it's sort of like, well, is, any, is anybody, not is anybody going to use it, but is anybody specifically in our field, is our marketers going to use this? Because if not, let's let's skip it, right? And so, um, you know, we we probably sandbagged on that for at least 12 months, watching to see what would happen. And, you know, obviously marketers use it in spades now. It's a big deal. Um, and now it's time for us to just put it in the store. So, you know, we'll start off like we always do with an MVP. The good news here is the path is pretty simple because... It, to some extent, because um, you're literally just taking an API and you know integrating with it, and then putting your you know you're building on top of it, but the base layer is already there. So we'll start. I think the plan is to start with social media posting, but the idea is really simple. Contextually throughout the app, wherever you are, where it makes sense to do that, we want to just have a button that says like you know generate the social media copy for me, and then you know you can choose. You know, I think I saw some designs like. I want to have three, I want three, three, uh, you know, three versions for this or whatever it is. And it'll spit out three versions and then you'll be able to save them off. So you can use them later, or you can just inject them right in, right in there at the same time. But I think, you know, having it be very contextually aware. So if you're in the blog section or the website section or the social media posting section or the email section, it's like, you know, we can tune that automatically based on where you're at in the app versus sort of having to go out to like a third party generate text and try to haul it back. We really want to make it like a little bit more um, contextually aware. It would be insane if you guys could do that for lead nurturing sequences and even email outreach sequences. Cause we've, uh, something we've been playing with and we were just shocked at what chat GPT hauled up for us was we we're like, Hey, chat GPT, I want you to write a five email sequence for getting plumbers to buy SEO services. And it was just insane what it spit out. And it's like, if you could integrate like high level workflows like that with chat GPT, that would be insane. That's where we're headed. So we'll start off with the easy stuff, like, like single posts and all of that, but then yeah, we'll pull into the email, but we'll just keep going crazy with it. Um, until we run out of stuff that works, right? And just like always, this is why I like the MVP, right? Because I would have never guessed that what you just said was possible, even though I've played with chat GPT myself. And so I think once we come out with it, you know, like always we'll say like, all right, you know, what does everyone want to see us do next? And then we'll just kind of sequentially go uh, in that direction. Awesome. And what are kind of like, if somebody wants to stay ahead of the curve, what are some opportunities that you see coming up in 2023 for integrating something like chat GPT or AI into the agency or the SaaS world? Yeah. So that's an interesting one, right? So, so we were, I was talking about this with my co-founder, like with chat GPT, for example, let's say, um, you wanted to have a conversational bot for a business. You know, the challenge of us doing that is that chat GPT's training materials are sort of like the World Wide web, essentially. And there's a lot of specific tuning you need to do for each of those businesses. And so I think that where a lot of the value will come in is not, I think it'll be easy for people like us to take the, the thing off the shelf and essentially slap it up there and make it easy to use. 
that's the value we'll be able to bring to the world. But I think for other people who want to extend that value, it's about actually going deeper and niching out and being able to, because like, let's say we, we, we created it so that you could train it in the app and all this for your plumbing clients and all that. The reality is the vast majority of people wouldn't do it. I mean, the agencies wouldn't do it. The businesses wouldn't do it. Like for some reason, getting people to take those extra steps is just so hard. But I think that there, if as a business, you you take that on as your task and you're able to create that end product for people, essentially, I think there's huge value in that. So that's kind of the direction I would look to take is like, how can you make it location specific or industry specific? That's where I feel like there's going to be huge positive out- outcomes. So you almost mean like an entire AI generated workflows or sequences specifically for plumbers. And like, that's what an agency starts selling. Yeah, that's what I would do. I mean, I, I think again, you know, it's funny as much as the world changes it doesn't like the plumber just wants the job. So with the least amount of friction, right? Because yeah. they know how to be a plumber and that's kind of like a hard thing. I mean, I, I don't know how to be, a, I'm, I, I don't know how to do any plumbing. I, I just had some plumbing done at my house and I'm amazed. I don't even know how to do any of that stuff. And like, I was talking to, I was like, um, I noticed they did copper piping and like a couple of years ago, they were using stuff called PEX and I was like, it's like plastic. And I was like, well, why'd you use, I thought PEX was like the new, the new hotness. What happened? And they're like, oh, well, if you have mice, they can chew through it and blah, 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 and they have all this stuff. That, and I was like, wow, that's super smart. I would never even thought of that. I would have just bought the plastic stuff. Um, so all of that is already what they're thinking about every day, right? So to think that they have room over here for like marketing and sales and all of that, I think that's where the value is for the agency. And so if you can use automated technologies to help you get through this, I mean, this is kind of back to where we started, right? Lead nurturing yeah. is... Where we where we got where we started, and still, the thing I love the most because I still think it's the lowest hanging fruit. Like I still think today that is where the vast majority of people lose their sales is just not responding fast enough, not responding intelligently enough, all of that, right? So I think there's a lot there, and I think if we expose some of the fundamental framework of GPT three and Chat GPT, like as workflow steps. I think some really magical, cool things can be created. So that's probably where we'll end up going. I am incredibly excited for that. If you got something valuable from this video, then please like, subscribe, ring that bell notification because that is how you can help me get valuable and practical content out to you. Down below, you're going to find a 30-day free trial link for high level. When you sign up using that link, you're going to get two amazing things. Number one is you're going to get a course that teaches you how to actually use high level for an agency. And then number two, you're going to learn high ticket sales. So that way you can actually start a high level business or add it to your existing business and know how to be making high ticket sales for that. Additionally, there's a third hidden bonus, which is a copy of my snapshot, which means you're going to get an exact clone of the high level that I use to scale and grow my agency. That way, a ton of the tech work and automations are already pre-built into your account. You can only get that when you use the link below and it does work if you're already a high level user. With that said, thank you for watching.